So we mentioned in part one how addiction, no matter how serious it may be, can still be overcome and people can still recover from it. That is of course as long as this addiction doesn't turn into worship. Let me explain. I watched a documentary a while ago about people that do the most disgusting and craziest things, believing that these things are good for them. This included someone who was addicted to taking steroids, losing all feeling he had in his muscles anymore. <laughs> it also included a man who totally gave up eating and drinking and claimed that he got his calories and energy from simply touching objects of nature. <laughs> it also included, and I apologize for how disgusting this sounds, a man who gave up drinking water and would drink his own urine as a source of nourishment, believing that it was good for him. All these three individuals were addicted to something so much, regardless of how stupid it was, that they almost worshipped it. It reminded me of a verse in the Quran in Surah Al-Furqan. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. So my point is, these three individuals are clearly doing harmful things, whether it's taking steroids, not eating anything at all, or drinking their own urine. Any sane person would know that. Those three individuals, as well as their followers, have shut off their minds to any common sense and have given in to their weird addictions. So however you may try to help or advise them, they will continue doing their habits, which is very sad yet remains true. Thank you very much, I hope you liked this video. Go ahead in the comment section and tell me about something weird that you once saw. And as always, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you very much.